At the dawn of the electric revolution, Japanese automotive giants were among the pioneers in the development of hybrid and battery electric vehicles. However, through the years their momentum has stalled and EV strategies have become less and less aggressive. But have the Japan's car makers been completely beaten or can we expect some worthy electric cars from the land of the rising sun? Well, by presenting the already existing Japanese EV SUVs of 2022, Today we'll prove to you that Toyota, Subaru, Nissan, Honda, Mazda and Mitsubishi still have a shot at the market domination. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy the ride! Subaru Solterra In 2019, Subaru and Toyota expanded the scope of their cooperation beyond co-platform sports cars. This revitalized the partnership and culminated in a shared EV architecture. In Subaru's case, it is called eSubaru Global Platform and eTNGA for Toyota. The Solterra, aka Sun and Earth crossover, has two possible powertrain configurations. A 201 horsepower single motor front wheel drive or a 215 HP dual motor with the Subaru's legendary symmetrical all wheel drive with the X mode. 0 to 60 time is clocked at 8.4 and 7.7 .7 seconds, respectively. The 71 kWh battery is estimated to supply enough juice to cover 250 miles on a charge, and it has 150 kW DC rapid charging capability. The crossover can ride on 18 or 20 inch wheels, has the maximum clearance of 8.3 inches, and will become one of the first production vehicles with a steer by wire technology. The Subaru Solterra is sized close to the Toyota RAV4. It has 452 liters of boot space and all the latest active safety features from the two conglomerates. Sony Vision S2 after successfully testing the market with the Vision S sedan concept, Sony dropped their statements of not planning to enter the car business. Instead, the Japanese tech giant has launched Sony Mobility Inc. as a separate automotive branch that will develop electric cars in cooperation with the Austrian Magnus Tire. Naturally, the follow-up model to the sedan will be a crossover SUV mounted on the same skateboard platform. The concept specs have not been disclosed yet but we can assume that the Vision SO2 shall also have a dual-motor all-wheel drive powertrain with a combined 536 horsepower output. The range should be the industry standard 300 miles. The suspension incorporates control arms front and rear with air springs. The SUV rides on 20 inches and the cabin can fit 4, 5 or 7 seat layouts. This PlayStation on wheels is 5G connected, has large panoramic screens for all the occupants and will benefit from Sony's proprietary autonomy tech. Nissan Aria Slowly making its way across the world, Nissan's all-electric crossover will start deliveries in the US in the fall of 2022. The model will arrive in four trim levels – Venture Plus, Evolve Plus, Premier and Platinum, plus there will be four drivetrain configurations. The entry-level Aria is powered by an AC electric motor that sends 218 or 239 horses to the front wheels. The flagship version of the crossover gets an all-wheel drive E4 system rated for 382 HP and 442 pound-feet. This model is capable of reaching 124 mph speeds and accelerates to 60 and 4.8 seconds. Depending on your range needs, the Aria can be equipped with a standard 66 kWh battery or with a larger 91 kWh pack, both with liquid cooling. The latter one is good for 265 to 300 miles. The cabin of the model promises minimalistic styling, zero gravity seats, leatherette or Napa leather upholstery and an optional power moonroof. The dashboard houses two 12.3-inch displays, one for the instrument cluster and one for the infotainment. We need your support in promoting this video, so smash the like button, watch till the very end and leave a comment down below with your thoughts about the lineup. Let's keep rolling! Hyundai 
Honda ENP1 and ENS1. Last year, Honda confirmed that they intend to launch 10 electric cars for the Chinese market under the all-new ENS series nameplate. These include the production-ready ENP1 electric crossover and its sportier sibling, ENS1. Design-wise, the SUV retains most of the styling cues showcased on the 2020 prototype, while also adding a few traits from the current HRV. The duo gets revised LED headlights, prominent front bumper lip, ultra-thin daytime running lights, and almost the same multi-spoke alloy wheels, though they're decreased in size to the realistic 18-inch diameter. The ENS1 also comes with a sporty rear spoiler and exclusive paint variants. Both cars will be offered in four versions, where the customers will choose between front-wheel drive configurations with 182 or 201 horsepower and two battery packs, offering from 260 to over 310 miles of range. Known for their love of tech, Chinese customers will get an enormous 15-inch infotainment system and a 10.25-inch digital cluster as standard. Toyota BZ4X You must have noticed that Toyota made a U-turn in their plans about the future vehicles and put a heavy emphasis on electrification. The new strategy of the Japanese automotive conglomerate includes seven electrified models by 2025, out of which 15 will be battery electric. The upcoming EVs will be developed in cooperation with Subaru under the newly established Toyota BZ brand, which stands for Beyond Zero. The Solterra Twin gets the same specifications with a single or dual-motor all-wheel drive, and there are four available trim levels – Pure, Motion, Vision, and Limited Premier Edition. The base BZ4X is equipped with 18-inch alloys, 8-inch touch multimedia, 7-inch digital driver's display, and keyless entry. But the flagship model boasts a 12.3-inch Toyota audio multimedia, 20-inch alloys, premium heated and ventilated front seats, 9-speaker JBL sound system, and a panoramic sunroof. Mazda MX-30 Mazda's first fully electric crossover belongs to the subcompact class. It has unique front fascia design and offers easy cabin entry with its unorthodox freestyle doors. The model shares underpinnings with the Mazda 3 and CX-30, which means that it's a retrofit of the regular IC platform with the electric components. The power comes from the eSky Active electric motor that produces 143 horses and 200 pound-feet of torque, all of them sent to the front wheels. The battery is more than modest, with a total capacity of 35.5 kWh. It promises just 100 miles of driving and recharges at 40 kW in 36 minutes. By the way, in some markets the MX-30 will also come out with a range extender, where the rotary Wankel engine serves as a generator. The interior uses recycled and environmentally safe materials, such as heritage cork. Plus, it has a dual-screen infotainment and a digital dashboard. Finally, the iActive Sense safety system installed on the MX-30 is among the most sophisticated ones offered by Mazda so far. Infinity QX Inspiration Since Nissan has already launched the Aria as the first global electric crossover, chances are that the company's premium brand will be debuting its own version of the model. We sure hope that it will be based on the Infinity's QX Inspiration concept that debuted in 2019. Slightly larger than the Aria, it has a 112-inch wheelbase and measures 182 inches in length, still falling into the compact SUV class. It also follows Infinity's new Japanese design language, gets clamshell doors, and rides on huge 22-inch wheels. The body of the QX Inspiration has a seamless, streamlined shape with several sharp creases that serve as focal points. The drivetrain system is represented by dual-motor all-wheel drive, probably the E-Force, and an undisclosed battery. However, what we do not expect to make it to the production lines is the concept's lounge-like cabin that should be replaced with a more practical layout.
Lexus UX 300e. After making it to production in 2021, the UX 300e became the very first electric Lexus. Unlike the newly unveiled Toyota BZ4X, this is not a dedicated EV, but rather a retrofit of the internal combustion UX. The powertrain does not attempt to impress the buyers, but it still manages to outperform the IC counterparts. Namely, the 204 horsepower and 221 pound feet motor surpasses the numbers offered by the 2.0 liter inline four cylinder on the UX200 and UX250H. The 54.3 kWh battery holds enough charge to cover 178 miles. We could have expected more from Electro EV, but Lexus compensates the lack of range by offering a 10 years or 620,000 miles 1 million km warranty for the battery pack. The UX EV is available in three grades – Comfort, Premium and Luxury. Standard equipment package and less 17-inch alloys, by led automatic headlights, Lexus Safety Plus systems, 6-speaker Panasonic audio system, digital dashboard and 7-inch infotainment, leather seats with Sashiko quilting and a washy interior trim. Mitsubishi Air Track. Back in the day, the Air Track name was used by the 2001 compact crossover that was later rebadged as the well known and loved Mitsubishi Outlander. In 2022, the nameplate returns to the market as an EV that was designed specifically for the Chinese market under the joint venture with the Guangzhou Automobile Group. The latter will be also responsible for the manufacturing process. In essence, the new Mitsubishi Air Track is a rebadged version of the GAC's own Aeon V. It gets a single motor front wheel drive system with a 70 kWh battery pack that offers estimated 230 miles of range and delivers 184 horsepower. The model offers perfect 50 50 weight distribution, has a modernized Mitsu exterior styling, and packs the latest Adigo 2.5 Level 2 semi autonomous driving. The interior of the air track explores the new generation horizontal infotainment and has a two tone upholstery. Lexus RC 450e. The status of the best selling Lexus guarantees the RX SUV the first row seat for the electrification Bonanza. Unlike the retrofitted UX 300e, this model will not share its platform with any internal combustion siblings. Instead, it will acquire the ETNGA underpinnings. To match the luxury pedigree of the brand, the platform is expected to get more range and power than the Toyota BZ4X or Subaru Solterra. So, over 218 horsepower, over 221 pound-feet of torque, and over 280 miles of range. However, if we were to assume that the LFC concept was the original harbinger of the upcoming RC450e, then it should have 373 miles of range and at least 350 HP output, though 536 horses and 516 pound-feet of the concept would be even better. The last big thing for the RX is the introduction of the company's Direct 4 all-wheel drive system and steer-by-wire technology. Nissan Chillout Concept Presented in November 2021, the Nissan Ambition 2030 plan reveals the company's nearest EV agenda while also teasing four all-new electric concepts. Undoubtedly, the most interesting one is the chillout concept, whose silhouette and swoopy lines hint at the next generation LEAF. The model is underpinned by an all-new modular CMF EV architecture, which will be used by all the future Nissan EVs. Design-wise, the chillout has a coupe-shaped body and a relatively tall ride height. The concept also features intelligent LED headlights, a fully transparent rear fascia, and huge futuristic wheels. Nissan claims that this model will be powered by an all-new E-Force all-wheel dual-motor drive system with the possibility to switch off front or rear motors. Do you think the Japanese car makers will be able to catch up with the rest of the auto world in terms of electric vehicles? Which electric SUV from today's lineup is your top pick? Let's discuss all of this in the comment section below. 
Smash the like button and subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss the upcoming episodes. More content is available through the links on the screen. And as always, may the torque be with you and glory to Ukraine!